it appears that Google now is starting to clamp down on services and trying to tell the difference between a physical shop in the high street and a service like my web design service. And so it seems that this is now gradually going out where it's making a gradual change to how you're being viewed in Google's results. I'm going to see how you can unlock that situation to see whether it could be actually an advantage or a hidden advantage in disguise. And also at the end, I've got a really nice little tip or two that are gonna really help you when it comes to the results and getting into that three pack. Now today we're focusing on Google My Business and particularly looking at uh, a, an issue that was raised just recently that I'm currently looking at with Google to see what the best way is to deal with this. Join me now on the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the first place I've noticed the issue is here where this uh, comes up saying complete these tasks to improve your profile and unlock your quotes view plan. And every so often you'll get this uh, little thing on the side come up. Well, this is saying your plan, improve your profile to unlock quotes for your business on maps, learn how to find people, uh, find your business on Google. But I think what this is really saying is Google saying, actually, um, we don't think you're a shop front. We think you're a service. And uh, so although I have my uh, business registered and I have an office, um, they now have just asked me to kind of put myself down as a service instead. And this is the kind of question is, should you be known as a service or should you be known as a shop front? And that's a question that most people are asking because they're noticing that things are changing in the way in which Google is presenting businesses. So in the past, Google would take you on a map and they would then say, well, you know, you're in the, a local proximity of a search. Therefore, you'll come up as number one in the search pack. But now, bearing in mind with services, it's not really that relevant about whether you're on the high street or whether you're in an office somewhere in a back street. The fact is, is uh, if you're a service, then you can offer it to a much wider area, which is what I've just changed today and gone to a service. And the reason I've done this is I think Google are wanting this. They're wanting to separate certain types of services. Uh, and I think that's what's behind this kind of query, this question. Uh, and so you'll notice now that rather than having my address here, um, I now have my uh, service area. And the way in which I changed it was that I went to uh, information and then I went into uh, location and here whereas before I'd have my uh, exact address which of course had to be relevant uh, I've now taken that off altogether and I'm not sure if that's the right thing or not but I'm waiting to hear from Google to see if that's what they're asking me to do the reason why I think it might be an advantage and I'll give you an example if I was to look for a, <clears throat> a um, cleaner in London so London cleaner or something like that a cleaner in London so let's uh, see what comes up here um, and you just notice that because cleaners are generally services and they don't operate from shop fronts, this is why I'm just using them as an example, you notice that two out of the three don't have directions. And that kind of implies to me then that having directions, having a physical shop for cleaners isn't such an important thing now. In fact, uh, it may just be if I put house cleaner, let's put house cleaner, there's a good chance that it's a service rather than a shop front. So if I do house cleaner, Okay, so here we've got um, we've got one without directions and we've got two with directions. If we just look at more businesses and see how it works. So if you look here now, you've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. So whereas we used to have directions on pretty much everything that has an address, I think Google's now beginning to say, actually, uh, unless you've got a genuine shop front, then you can't actually be shown uh, with directions to a shop because people are turning up. These two, by the way, are adverts as well, which is another way around it. Uh, and I think that's uh, that's a key. So there's my kind of tip is uh, if you want to do something a bit different, and I think Google is wanting you to do this, and when Google wants you to do things, they often reward you. You notice that out of 20 odd um, mentioned here on this first page, you notice only a scattering of about 10 actually have directions because they are actual flats or they haven't changed yet. So there's my suggestion is you may want to just see if it has an effect. I'm at the moment currently trying it and seeing whether it has an effect to be a service rather than a shop front. And in that way then um, you can see whether or not it works. Uh, while I'm here, just one little final tip, so I like to give tips away if I can. Um, 
So let's just go for, um, here's, a, here's an idea. If, you've, if you're setting up a business or you wanted to set up a new business and put it on Google My Maps, then just an idea that when you type in London Cleaner, you notice a lot of these um, websites have the word cleaner in and that's where they're coming up at the top. So London Cleaners, Cleaners of London. Um, so you notice that uh, London Cleaning Agency, London Cleaning, why do they do that? Well, because they're all coming up at number one. And that's just something to consider that I'm uh, certainly not for changing your business name if you've already got a name. So someone like Housekeep are doing well because they've got so many reviews. So that's why they're doing so well. And obviously they're no doubt very good at their job. I don't know them, but I'm sure they are. But when it comes to trying to start off businesses and get them up and running, think about your location. Think about what it is you actually do. And then if you can get those keywords at the beginning or in your business name, that's certainly going to help. If you can't do that, then certainly you would put them in your description and you put them in other areas of your business as well so that it describes who you are. So here's the kind of the services and description and so on. So I'm a web designer in Bournemouth. So that goes at the top of my description. If you do that, you'll find that will certainly help you grow in Google My Business and in the top three, which is what you're no doubt aiming for.